And now we'll show you what happens when our toy mouse gets guillotined. We'll go in there, move forward, hit the trigger. Over the past few years, I've tested out over 1,000 different mousetrap designs, and on my channel, I've shown you some pretty crazy mousetraps. And today for Mousetrap Monday, I'm excited to show you one of my top 10 all-time most unique and creative mousetraps that I've ever seen. And it was invented by a YouTube viewer from the Netherlands named Laurent. It's called the Automatic Guillotine Dropbox Mousetrap. And what's so crazy about this mousetrap is, on one set of batteries, it could kill up to 150 mice. Now some of the best mouse traps I've featured on my channel have come from YouTube viewers from Europe, including Axel from Germany with his conveyor belt and automatic rolling log mouse traps, and Marcus from Sweden with all his 3D printed designs. The amount of skill and imagination that goes into building these traps is amazing. It consists of two different parts. This comes off. On the bottom you can see the trap door, a lever attached to a spring, and down below are 3D printed gears. If you turn this slightly, you can see how that trap door drops down and then it resets. The top of the trap is separated by different compartments. On this side, we have the electronics, the wires, motors, solenoid, the setting mechanism, and the battery pack. And on this side is the kill chamber. The mouse goes up a ramp, through this hole, and steps on the trap floor, but it's being held up right now. In between the trap floor and the bait chamber is a swing gate. And when the mouse pushes on that, it activates the sequence and the spring-loaded guillotine comes slamming over and kills the mouse. Then the floor drops down and the trap resets itself, pulling back the guillotine. One after another, you can hit the mice and it will drop down and reset. It takes six AA batteries. I'll go ahead and plug this in to show you how it works. It went through a perfect sequence. You saw that guillotine slam over and the floor drop down and then reset. I'm going to show you that again from the top angle. It ran through the cycle twice to make sure the mouse is dead and that it dropped down. I'm going to show you from this angle so you can see the guillotine. Keep your eye on the spring-loaded wooden part right here. We'll pull that swing gate. Bam! And one more time. That trigger is so sensitive, as soon as the mouse hits it, it's dead. Sometimes it runs two or even three cycles, but that's okay. You get over 150 hits on one set of batteries. I'll show you how the gears work from the bottom. And here's what it looks like when a mouse drops in the bottom chamber. And now we'll show you what happens when our toy mouse gets guillotined. We'll go in there, move forward, hit the trigger. With all that stuffing in there, it's bigger than a real mouse and it gets stuck. I also have a carrot from my garden. We'll see what happens when that goes through the guillotine. It slices and dices, so if it doesn't work as a mouse trap, you can fill the bottom with cut up garden vegetables. Well, it worked on a carrot in our toy mouse, but I'm curious how it's gonna do in the barn with real mice. So we're gonna set it up with motion cameras, but first I have to add the lid so the mice don't chew on the wires. And I have one for this side. Now I can't show a mouse getting guillotined on YouTube, so I'm gonna cover it up right there. And I'll add the ramp that fits on the hooks so the mouse can climb up and go in the chamber with the guillotine. And I don't want the bottom part of the trap to get dirty, so I made a box to fit right inside to catch all the mice. Our trap's all set and ready to go. Let's go set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get mice with the guillotine drop box mouse trap.
Well, last night our guillotine drop box mouse trap performed perfectly. There's two mice in the box down below. They wanted the bait, went up the ramp, in the chamber, hit that swing trigger, activated the sequence, and that spring-loaded guillotine slammed over with a force of 22 ends or newtons. That's more than enough power to instantly kill the mice. Then they drop down and it reset itself. Overall, for being a prototype, it works perfectly. It's an amazing trap. Now I know viewers are frustrated when I don't show the whole sequence of the mice getting killed, but I have to be very careful. Every single video I post on YouTube gets reviewed. And if you post a video that violates their policies, bad things happen to your channel. But the main point was to test it out and see if it actually works, and it does. Now I don't want the two mice we caught that are down below to go to waste, so I'm gonna feed them to wild animals at the beaver dam. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys our guillotine drop box mice. Well, the opossums at the beaver dam enjoyed the mice provided by the guillotine dropbox mousetrap, but I had more fun seeing the bobcat. It's such a beautiful animal. Thank you so much to Laurent for sending me a prototype of your mousetrap design. It's a high-tech option that works well. If I owned a mousetrap company, I would want to sell this as one of my ultimate mousetraps, saying you could catch up to 150 mice on one set of batteries. I'll include his contact information, so if you want to find out more about this mousetrap, or maybe even purchase the design, I'll put it down below. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who are sending me art. I love seeing the pictures. Now I do want to address one question I've been getting in the last couple videos. And that is viewers have noticed that my finger looks really bad. And that's because I got one tiny cut and germs got in there and it got extremely infected. I had to go to the doctor and get oral antibiotics. And that's why I wear gloves more often. Now, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking the button. And if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.